Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. My name is Alexandra Burton, and I am the training specialist at Central Desktop. Um, unfortunately, my coworker Kevin Lewis, um, who was going to be joining me, had a family emergency, so won't be here. So it's just me today. Um, but we actually will also have a guest appearance from one of our customers. So thank you all for joining me today. Um, this is the cost for laziness, and we're just going to go over a few pieces on how to um, identify some areas of automation or ways to simplify the way that you work to uh, make the system work for you more. Um, we'll take a look at ways that this can be applied, big and small, for the individual user as a group. So perhaps for a whole workspace, and then also from the company administrator perspective. So we'll go ahead and jump right in with how to turn this out. So one of the places that you're going to want to initially look to identify ways to simplify your experience is your email inbox and outbox. Um, while Central Desktop allows for integration with your email, um, and allows you to work with that, it is absolutely not a replacement for working with email. Um, and oftentimes you may find when you're looking your, at your email client that um, there are certain things that find their way out of the system, some email communications that perhaps could be best suited by being brought back into Central Desktop. Um, so things that you'll want to look at are common interactions, can things be moved into a discussion when it's certain people that you're always having just email communication with? Um, your email reply addresses, um, making sense of those long email addresses. This sort of shows how um, when you filter, you might see that there's a lot of conversation with one person or um, common back and forth, and so finding ways to look at that and pull that back into the system. Um, another area where you can take a look and find some <coughs> simple go-to's is um, in company setup, just under the general tab. You'll see here that there's actually um, a highlight of the low usage and non-used features. Um, these aren't ways that you're necessarily going to automate yourself, but are going to be um, sort of telling in features that your team isn't using as well as they can be, or ones that you simply could add to your repertoire for how to boost additional usage. So another avenue for um, perhaps the reluctant user might be hiding in this area. Um, in addition to the general area, you're also going to see um, the reports in this area. So as a company administrator, you're able to review um, your files across workspaces, where are many files being stored. Um, my favorite reports are the um, search reports, so the keyword by popularity, and what people are looking for but not finding matches. Um, this is a great way to identify additional tags that can be added, additional ways of um, putting more meaningful titles on your files. Um, and these are all just small little tweaks that eventually are going to um, alleviate the flow of how you work because there are small changes that are going to make it easier for every individual to come. The last area is also um, your project management area. So this isn't just active projects, it's going back and reviewing the archived projects that you might have. Going and looking if there are patterns in the projects that you're creating and whether you're creating them manually, so typing in every task, um, whether you're importing them into the system or utilizing our task, task list templates. Um, these are also great ways to see who you're assigning tasks to and if there are patterns there that you can identify that might simplify those. So as you're going through all of this, it's really a way to ask yourself if you can see patterns in the way you're working, who you're working with, and how the work is being done. Um, a lot of the times if you want to automate something or simplify a process, it's being able to see that full process from beginning to end. So it takes a lot of reflection initially to be able to look, step back, and see what the pieces are that you want to then cut corners and um, make a new shape out of. Are people always asking for clarification of where things are? That's again looking at search and seeing what people are missing, what they're not finding. Um, are you always looking for the same thing? Do you always send content in the same format? So again, always just looking at the patterns and in, in how you're working. 
um, looking at how projects are structured in the same way, making use of templates. So um, workspace templates aren't the only option that we have. We have taskless templates. Um, I'm going to actually introduce a capability um, with email templates, so a way that you can actually create one of your own and save for future use. So we'll jump right into the